some background about Nabi Ayyub alaihi salam. From his story, we know that he is someone of a very noble character, a man of amazing character, full of patience, full of piety, full of wisdom. And I would say, subhanAllah, like his patience uh, um, come above everything else, subhanAllah. So he displayed in the story, we see how much he actually displayed patience in his life. And here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to him trial after trial. And this is again one of the lessons that we need to really remember in our life. You know, like very often when we speak about the stories of the prophets, especially when we speak about the stories of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the stories from the seerah, many people often say like, oh, but they are companions. Oh, um, they live with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Of course, they had that level of iman. But we did not know. I mean, we, we overlook the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually gives trials most to his prophets. The more nearer someone, the more higher, like the higher the ranking of someone in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the greater Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would actually test that person. And the most tested individuals on the, on the face of earth were the prophets alayhi salatu wasalam. Subhanallah. So who are we to say, you know, like, oh, they were, but they were prophets. Of course, it, uh, uh, they would have that kind of patience. They were prophets. Of course, they would have that kind of uh, wisdom. No, subhanAllah, the, this great patience of them came with a huge level of trial. This great wisdom of them came with a huge level of arrogance that they had to face, ego that they had to face, you know, like oppression that they had to face. Yet they had all this together with all of the trials that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them. So we need to remember this. We need to remember, you know, when we say that the uh, Prophet Ayyub alayhi salam displays great patience, you will see later the great trials that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him. Trials, plural. Not just one, not just two, a lot. SubhanAllah. Yet he is known as someone who was always remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fisara ibn Dara, like if, when he was uh, in ease and when things are difficult for him. He kept on remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He kept on trusting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he was always uh, 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 thinking well of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, subhanAllah. So he was definitely an excellent model of worshippers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he was blessed. Okay, before we look at his uh, uh, trials and the difficulty that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him, Nabi Ayyub alayhi salam was actually blessed with a long life of servants. Okay, he had long he 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 had lots of servants, lots of wealth. Okay, meaning he was wealthy, and with this wealth that he had, he used to feed the poor. He feeds people and he clothes. Uh, he give them clothes, etc. So he used to feed. He used to 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 feed and clothe the poor, and he used to buy slaves to set them free. So meaning all of this great ni'mah, the great uh, blessings that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gave him in the form of wealth. First of all, he used all of his wealth for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is another lesson that we want to remember. Nabi Ayyub alayhi salam, you know, he had lots of trials. He faced lots of trials in his life. But these trials did not come as punishment. You know, oftentimes when we were tested by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with difficulty, we would question, oh, what, what sins did I, what sins did I get, uh, 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 have I done to actually deserve this punishment? Oh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is punishing me because I did this, 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 this. Oftentimes, we always think unwell of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying that we were tested because it was uh, uh, because of the past sins that we do. But here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing an example of someone who used the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him in, in, in the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted. Meaning, he, did, he was not a transgressor. He was not someone who, he was not known as a sinner. In fact, he was using all of the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yet with this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested him. So here we remember that each trial that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us, any test that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us in our life is always one of three. Okay? If it can be either a kafara, kafara means penance. You know, like to, 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 to cover the sins that we did before, all right? A form of penance. Or if, let's say, we do not have, a, a, sorry, first of all, it can be a reminder. Okay, a reminder. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to give us a, a wake-up call, all right? 
And secondly, it can be a penance. Okay, it can be a kafara for our past sins or mistakes. And third, it, it, it can be a form of elevation. Okay, a form of, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying like, oh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants, wants to give us a higher le level of, uh, uh, you know, of abode in Jannah, in heaven. But the things that we have in this life is not enough. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to give us extra points. So he gives us this trial. So whatever trial that you have, do, do not, do not, that, that, whatever trial that you face in your life, you know, do not straight away jump into the saying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is punishing you. Even if it is kafara, even if it is meant as penance, then it is not a punishment. Kafara is not a punishment, but it is out of the generosity and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is his mercy and love because he does not want to, he does not want to punish us in akhirah. He does not want us to bring these sins to akhirah, to the hereafter. So instead, he gives us these trials to clear our mistakes. So why are we saying that kafara is a punishment? It's not a punishment. A penance is a good thing, right? Subhanallah. Uh, a very popular, it is now, they said that he can't believe in religion because some men just invented them for their own material gains. He obviously hadn't studied the prophets at all. Yes, exactly. Exactly, subhanallah. Subhanallah, like like <laughs> like um uh nobody would want to be in the shoe of a, I mean nobody would want to be in the shoe of a prophet if they actually know what the prophets actually had to go through. Subhanallah, the trials and difficulties. So it's not just it's not just being uh, uh in in the high ranking in the being in that high ranking in the eyes of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. It has a price, a large price for you to pay.